Hey guys, it's Lisa here. In today's video, I'm going to show you two ways that you can set up a virtual class library for your students during distance learning. So the first being is just having like what I have here, a welcome slide, welcome to our class library, you can include your name, you can create your own scene using images from the clip art gallery, and then followed by a bunch of slides that have a bookshelf like this and then pictures of the books that you're going to make available to your students, whether it be through a read aloud and you insert a YouTube video or if you have PDFs and you can put the links in so that the students can actually read them. That's up to you. If you're going to have an extensive library, you might want to do it this way. This way you can just have slide after slide of the bookshelves with the either video links or the PDF links to read the stories. Uh, so that's what I, I did for this first option. If you look here, um, I have Cat in the Hat. Okay, I'm temporarily just going to remove that link because I want to show you how to do that. I have the picture of the Cat in the Hat book clicked. Okay, I am then going to go to, and I already have it pulled up um, just, to, just to save some time, but I have up here the video. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the link. Okay, copy. There, it's copied. Then I'm going to go back to my slide and I'm going to go to insert link and I'm going to paste the link there and I'm going to hit enter. You can also click apply, it does the same thing and now it is linked. The same as for the rest of my books here. Okay, they already have all the links in them as you can see. Then on the second, uh, the third slide in, which is my second bookshelf slide, I have pictures here from a great website that I found, got to give them credit. Okay, they're called monkeypen.com and they have a lot of children's stories and the PDFs are available and it's free. So what I did was I went to the website, okay, here they have so many great little books. Okay, I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy this image just to show what it looks like. Okay, it's going to come out a little big. I'm going to have to size this down. Maybe not quite that much. Okay, so there it is. Then I'm just going to go back to the website. Okay, and I'm going to get the link for the PDF. And I'm already clicked on it. And again, the same as the last, I'm going to do insert link. Okay, and now it's linked. So you can do that. Your second option, if you're someone who might want to do an author study or you want to switch the books up every week, you can do something like this where you have your scene and you have your bookshelves and you can change those week by week. And all you're going to do is literally just put in a new picture of the books and put in the new links week by week. Um, I was actually able to copy and paste these in and I did so by by grouping. So I, I grouped these bookshelves. So I, when I move the shelves, all the books come. If you don't know how to do that, I do have a video posted on grouping and layering of images. Make sure you check that out. I hope that this helped all of you. Please make sure to like my video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Take care, guys.